Hi friends, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to discuss about uh, various UPS operating modes. UPS stands for Uninterrupted Power Supply and it is used for providing the backup power in case of power failure. There are different UPS topologies. Of all, online double conversion topology is widely used and I am concentrating on this topology. So whatever the modes uh, I am discussing in this video that is with respect to this topology. This is the block diagram of this topology. It consists of rectifier block which converts incoming mains to DC and the DC is used for charging the battery bank and the DC is fed to the inverter and inverter block will convert the DC to AC and is fed to the load. In addition to these blocks there are static bypass switch, manual bypass. What the UPS operating mode will define? It defines how the power is available at the UPS output. It can come through mains, rectifier, inverter and the output or it can come through battery bank, discharge circuit, inverter and the output or it can come through this uh, static bypass or manual bypass. These are the different uh, modes of uh, UPS. One is normal mode, battery mode, static bypass mode, manual bypass mode, echo mode, frequency converter mode. It may be noted that all these modes may not be present in a single UPS. Depending upon the user requirement, the model of the UPS need to be selected so that the required mode of operation is present in particular uh, model of the UPS. This is the normal mode and whenever the UPS is in healthy condition, this is the mode that uh, the UPS is in. So here you can see how the uh, output is available in this mode. So the red color arrow shows uh, the uh, power output, so mains and rectifier and then the inverter and the output and the, at the same time the rectifier output is used for charging the battery. This is the normal mode and the other mode is the battery mode and the UPS goes to this battery mode when incoming power fails. So here you can see when incoming power fails. So the battery bank is used for uh, providing the required output that is fed to the inverter. Inverter converts the DC of the battery bank to AC and it is uh, fed to the output. And the other mode is the static bypass mode. In this mode, so here you can see the static bypass switch is used for providing the output. So when the UPS goes to this mode, when inverter fails or inverter overloads. What is inverter overload? If the output that is the load that is connected to the UPS draws more uh, power than the capacity of the inverter that is known as inverter overload. Under these conditions, so the UPS goes to this mode. Here you can see how the power uh, flows. So through the static uh, bypass it is uh, going to the output and here you can see the battery bank is in uh, still uh, charging uh, mode because the rectifier is in operation. Here you can see static bypass and manual bypass. So what is the difference? The static bypass is having a voltage regulation. Here you can see these are the SCRs. So which regulates the voltage? Suppose if the incoming voltage is high, so this decreases the voltage and fed to the output. Or if the incoming voltage is low, it increases the voltage and fed to the output. So this static bypass switch is acting as a voltage stabilizer. Other is manual bypass mode of operation and UPS will be uh, put in this mode whenever any maintenance need to be uh, taken on the uh, UPS system. So the maintenance person uh, can uh, take the required maintenance of the UPS without disturbing the load. So here you can see, so during the maintenance operation, so the output uh, is available through this manual bypass. It is uh, just an MCB when you switch on this. So the power, so whatever uh, the mains voltage uh, that is uh, fed uh, through bypass switch to the output. Here if you see in this mode there is no voltage regulation, whatever the voltage available at the incoming main, same voltage is fed to the output. And the other mode is the echo mode of operation and some of the UPS uh, will have this uh, mode for improving the overall efficiency of the UPS system. Here if you see uh, the inverter, so inverter uh, um, requirement is for converting to DC to AC and this operation is not 100% efficient because there are some losses during this conversion. So in order to improve the efficiency in this mode the inverter is kept in standby under normal conditions. So whenever the incoming power is available, so the output is fed through the static bypass switch, inverter is in standby, so there are no losses in this inverter. 
so when the uh, ups goes to uh, this uh, inverter mode so here you can see so when uh, incoming power fails so the inverter is turned on and uh, the battery bank supplies the required voltage and this inverter converts that dc to ac and fed to the output so this is the um, advantage of this mode means uh, the overall efficiency of the ups is improved but one factor need to be um, taken care because uh, there is a transfer time involved because from static bypass to inverter so there is a transfer time involved in the order of 10 to 15 milliseconds and should it and this should be addressed because if the load uh, is acceptable for this uh, transfer time then uh, you can use this mode of operation otherwise you should not use this mode of operation and this is the frequency converter mode and this mode is used Suppose uh, if the output that is the load requires a uh, different frequency than that of the incoming mains frequency. Suppose if the incoming mains is 50H and the load requires uh, 60H then this mode uh, can be used. So under this uh, uh, mode so different uh, frequency uh, can be uh, available available from the ups output under this mode this bypass should be disabled because this load will not accept the incoming mains frequency because of that the bypass need to be disabled and the other mode is auto restart mode of operation and the ups goes to this mode when incoming mains fails for an extended amount of time if incoming main fails so the ups uh, transfers to the battery and the battery uh, supports uh, the UPS and it cannot support an unlimited amount of time it can support only uh, for limited amount of time that depends upon the battery AH so when the battery voltage reaches the uh, end of discharge voltage suppose if we consider a 12 volts battery the end of discharge voltage is 10.5 volts and the UPS detects this voltage and it shut down the inverter and uh, the UPS output is no longer available because mains also is not available so whenever the power recovers so there is some delay uh, for uh, switching on the inverter because the battery is completely discharged and it uh, takes more current for charging and during that time for uh, preventing the tripping of uh, the ups so there is some delay for switching on the inverter of the ups and this is the auto restart mode of uh, the ups thank you for watching my video